in today's video on how to build your food truck we're gonna be talking about uh, let me just show you right there that little tray right there where it comes on your concession window also the drains for your tanks being the fresh water the gray water which is part of the plumbing so it's kind of like a part three of the plumbing if you're new to the channel welcome I'm Frank Baltiers where I show you how you can build your own food truck from scratch and in the past two videos we've been talking about the plumbing but we do take what you see behind me being an empty trailer this is a 7 by 16 we named their big red and uh, we converted it into a full kitchen on wheels the only thing missing is the cooking equipment right here because it is for sale so it's semi customizable for anybody that wants to buy it it's still for sale and uh, I've also been working on this little contraption that I have here this is gonna be on the next video so come back and make sure that you join me for that uh, if you're new to the channel as I said welcome and if you've been a fellow subscriber Hopefully all these videos have helped you out, but as you can see, this little mess right here is actually going to serve all our cooking equipment with all these separations of ball valves and uh, we're gonna connect our flex hoses on there. And also wanna make sure that I tell you, you gotta buy these two things right here. I'll link them in the description. Everything I'll link in the description with my Amazon paid links. And I also have a spreadsheet that uh, a lot of you have asked uh, access to because I did have it on one of my previous videos a while back. I did uh, remove that access, so now I'm going to have it for sale because I put it more detailed. It's going to have all the links where you literally just click on something and it takes you straight to the product, all the pricing and the actual description of what it is and everything that you need on how to build this food truck right behind you or it could be a trailer or a little food, uh, like a little cart as well. But I'm going to have that for sale, so reach out, Rolling Burritos Food Truck at gmail.com. Just know that that link before, it doesn't work anymore and that's on purpose. So this is a propane leak, de leak detector that you'll need. And this goes right in the front. I like this one because it's actually powered by AC power, which is how I power everything here. 120 power, it just plugs right in. So you don't need any batteries. So that's always fun to have in it. Uh, detects any propane leaks that you have. The other thing that you'll need is this one right here, a carbon monoxide alarm. And that one you put up high in an outlet as well. This one you plug in, as you can see right there. So you don't have to worry about batteries. Again, I just want to make sure I show you those two little things. Make sure that you come back to the next video. I'm going to do a Spanish one. Uh, just so you guys know, there's going to be one Spanish video that I do, almost like a review behind me. So that's coming down the pipeline. If uh, you guys know Spanish or if you guys want to just listen in, that's going to be one of the videos coming up. And the propane lines, I'll talk about that one on the next video. But for today, we're talking about the tip tray that I call it because that thing is a money maker. The drain valves. And every question that you have, drop it in the comments because I answer each and every one myself. Again, sorry for the long intro. I just start talking and it just takes over. But uh, I'm Frank Baltieres. Let's get started. How to build your food truck from A to Z. On the concession window side, I do want to start working on this right here. This is my almost like a flip table that goes up, the condiment table. And that goes right here, a serving shelf. And it has little hinges that they give you from... Uh, Oh my gosh, JR Aluminum, I was having a brain fart. So it goes down and up, down and up. When you're not using it, it'll go down to be kind of flush to the trailer. And then obviously when you're using it, it'll flip right up. And then it has little ways that you can knock it down. But that's the one that I ordered when I ordered my window. So I'm gonna be working on that. I just have to kind of measure how I have it on rolling burritos. Let me show you how I have it over there. Right here, you can see how I have it on my trailer. And all you do, just like that you flip it up and then down here these are the hinges I was telling you you press one side you press the other side and then it rolls down and that's the little condiment table where you can put like your napkins your tip jar and all that fun stuff let me tell you a little bit more details on the installation of the window tray where you can put your tip jar that is the biggest thing that you can put out there because it'll produce you the best results trust me you need a tip jar uh, so what I did here is that these brackets are the ones that come from Class A Customs. So you don't have to ask them for anything special. It literally comes with that tray that I just showed you. I have to take some measurements, that's all you do. Make sure that it's even on both sides. You can put it as high or as low from the window as you want to. I did it exactly the same on both sides. And what I do is I use these bolts right here. Let me show you. These stainless steel bolts, bolts and I go through the whole trailer uh one time i did try i have to make this hole a little bigger actually one time 
I tried um, to use a screw and put it on the stud. That's why I left the blue tape here. Those are the studs, the actual like stud studs. You don't want to use it onto the onto just the aluminum. You want to put onto something solid. So that's why you use a stud. Also, what I was saying is I used to use a screw, a self-tapping screw, and I just felt like it didn't grab as well. So now I go all the way through to the trailer. Let me show you how it looks on the inside of the trailer. But that's how that is right there. And then I just drill all the way across. I'm gonna show you. And there it is right there. So I'm gonna just paint these white just because it uh, kind of scraped a little bit. These are stainless steel washers, but they do not make white stainless steel washers. So I have to spray paint that real quick, nothing crazy. But that's what I do there. And as you can see right there, those are my two other holes that I just showed you on the backer, the backside, not the backer, the backside of the trailer. But uh, there it is, that's how you install them. You put these uh, quarter inch nylon nuts. That's what you see right here. And uh, that's how you do it. And then you can put some glue and then you can silicone it if you want. I put some glue on there. Let me see if it's right here. Nope, it's not there. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. That's what I use, just glue. That way it grabs a little bit more onto the trailer skin. So there you go. That's how you install this little trailer tray, the concession tray. I like to call it the tip tray because that's what I put on there is my napkins and my tip jar. Ta -da -da -da. As they say when something's done, here is that shelf complete now. We're going to call it the tip shelf. How about that? The tip jar shelf. Uh, I left this protective film on here just so it won't get uh, scratched or anything like that. But you just lift it just like that on this side and you come over here. You do that. That would be every time you're parked and serving, you would just do that. And then when you're done, you just come here, you press this, you press this one, and there you go. As you can see back here, I did put a little bit of glue. That way it has a nice adhesion to the trailer skin. Same thing over here. That way no water gets in there. And I did do as I told you guys, I put those big bolts right across and it goes all the way to the inside of the trailer with some washers with the nylon nuts and that way it's secure you can literally hang on this but i will not because it's not made for that purpose so there you go that's the final installation of how this looks again this film is just on here for protection of scratches it will not be there after a while but for now it's right there on this next part here, it's going to take a little bit of prep work. Mm -hmm. Things you'll need is a 90, two 90s, two regular 90s, or you can use the vent ones, the vent elbows, the little stubby short 90s, a drill, a hole saw, and then just some muscle so you can get this ready. So right here, I have finished up the two holes that go from the freshwater tank, which is the front one, and then the gray water tank or the wastewater tank back there. These two inch and a half PVCs, boom, boom, go down to the bottom of the trailer. I'm going to show you how those get connected. They get connected to a gate valve. And what I use to cut those holes nice and perfect is this two and a quarter inch hole saw. So that will allow that fitting, which is inch and a half, to fit perfectly nice and snug. As you can see, those holes right there are nice and snug. If you want a silicone around it, you can. Uh, it's up to you. But that's how I leave them nice and neat. So let me show you now at the bottom of the trailer how that looks with the gate valves. So as you can see here, this is big red. You can see by obviously the color. There is nothing down here right now that I can show you that I have completed. So I'm gonna be working on it. These are the two holes that I just showed you up top right there. And then right here, I'm gonna feed in, oh my gosh, some gate valves right here. Let me show you how it looks on rolling burritos, which is right next to me. But this is where those two gate valves are going to go. And I just feed it off inch and a half PVC. But let me show you these two how it looks. This is it right here. These are the two gate valves. They are made by Fair no Valterra. Sorry, Valterra is who makes these right here. This is I'll show you the exact product of what it's called, but just these are the gate valves. I got two of them, and then a water hose or a garden hose gets connected to these, and then you can drain your tanks out. Very easy. It's nice. But those are the, how it's gonna look right there obviously this is my trailer but these are how that's gonna look on big red before i finish up the setup that i was showing you right here one of them is done right there and let me show you the parts that i use this one is the valterra gray water 90 degree drain connector 
And as you can see there, it fits into a three quarter inch hose. So that's what these threads are for right there. It's for a three quarter inch hose that you can hook up to drain out your water if you want to uh, take it straight out to your commissary. And then this is that Valterra inch and a half gate valve that you open this up. And then that lets all the water out. Ow! One handed, let me see if I can do it. There it is. That lets all the water out whenever you wanna dump out your tanks. So that other one's gonna be right there. And as you can see, that's how I did it. I'm gonna strap it right here. I'm gonna put a strap, a stainless steel strap right there so it can hold that inch and a half PVC nice and tight to the frame with the little screw. But these are the parts that I use, some glue, the Valterra uh, 90 degree drain connector, the gate valve, there's my fusion glue, and then some inch and a half PVC. So there it is, that's my setup on how to drain the tanks. Let's check out the final product of how this looks, the final installation. I just finished it up right now. I'm big red as you can see right there. These are the two gate valves, the inch and a half gate valves that get connected to that drain connector. Again, this is that little piece right there, 90 degree drain connector because you can hook up the hose to this and it's so easy to dump the water. As you can see here, it comes right from underneath the trailer. Let me get the camera in there. From underneath the trailer. From the tanks, it goes right into this 90, this little vent elbow, vent 90, and then that goes into this PVC, and then that comes over to the gate valve, and as you can see here, it has the, the gate, and then that lets out your water. This one's the fresh water, and then this back one right here is the gray water, right there. And then you can just let out your water when it gets dirty, and that's the setup. Pretty easy, straightforward. And uh, this is all I use, the Valterra gate valve, some PVC, and then right here, it's a nice clean installation. I just love how this looks. It works perfectly for my food truck being rolling burritos when I have to fill and when I have to dump the water. So if you guys like the setup, that is how we do it. Pretty easy, straightforward as I mentioned. And I know you guys can do this. So that's all you need, some inch and a half PVCs, this little bad boy, and then the gate valve right there.